Hello, welcome back. This is Craig. I wanted to talk a little bit about moving layers and moving selections around on a page. It's something we kind of take for granted, but um, there's a lot of easy ways to do it or make your life easier when you are when you are doing it. I've copied part of the photograph here of this little girl and put her on the open page over here just to show you. So the first thing is you want to notice is that she is on her own separate layer. And I could name this layer um, little girl. And now this layer I can turn on and off by simply using the, the eye. Deselect it, it'll turn off and select it. If I deselect it, it will not print. Um, so that you don't have to see it, but it also won't print if you were to print this out and just to get a composite or print an idea of what it might look like. So to move this, I want to go up here to my move tool, you can type a V, and this is the very first tool. And if I'm on this layer, I simply click and drag. And I can move this layer around anywhere I want. If I'm not on this layer and accidentally, I accidentally grab something else, <clears throat> which I do, and I go to click here, I'm grabbing the other layer, I notice that right away. And just do Command Z and go back up to the layer that you want to move. Now, if I want to make a separate selection of this, um, let's say I want to just put um, her eyes on a separate layer. I'm going to type L for my lasso tool, and I'll probably put, I'm going to put about a five pixel blur on here, and I'm just going to go around her eyes like this. And now I have a selection around here. Nothing is done yet, but let's just say I wanted to take her eyes and make them a little bit bigger. What I could do is I could make a new layer from this layer based on just this selection. So if I go under Layer and New, I can do a new layer via a cut, which will basically put her eyes on a new layer. Uh, looks like she's wearing a little mask with glasses on, or with eyes on it, uh, on a new layer. I don't want to do that. Um, I'm going to go back here. What I want to do is I want to make a new layer via a copy. So there is still a copy underneath. Notice how you don't have that blurred halo here anymore. But I do have a copy of her eyes on top of here. So sometimes they'll do this in um, fashion photography where they will take the new eyes now. And you can see that's where they are. If I do Command T to transform, I can make these just a little bit bigger. And if I want to push them together just a little bit, notice how you really can't tell because I blurred the edges. Um, so I'm making her eyes just a little bit larger. And I could do just one if I wanted to. But now if I turn this on and off, you can see the difference. But it's not really noticeable because I blurred the edges and they're kind of blending in with the, the background. So that's another way to move a selection is to put it on its own separate layer and now you have um, the selection on a separate layer. Let's say if I have um, in another way to move a selection, well, not really move a selection, but to get a selection, is all of these images on here are on maybe 15, 20 different layers. So what if I wanted to take a copy of this, but I just wanted to cover um, like her and the kids, uh, the kids Club logo like this. I just wanted her like this. Well, what I can do is I, I could select all of these layers, merge them together, kind of play around with that. Or if you go under Edit, um, there is a quick little feature here called Copy Merged. And that Copy Merged will copy basically everything that is included in your marquee and all the layers below it. So if I click Copy Merge and then paste that, Command V, now I have a separate layer here. You can't tell that it's there, but when I select it and move it, that is my new layer. And I've copied all of these layers, merged them together into one layer. Okay. Now, if I wanted to make a selection of, let's just say, just her eyes. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Um, we'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of this. By the way, to get rid of that layer, I'm just simply selecting that layer. 
over here and typing delete and to get rid of it. Another way to do that is to drag it down over the, um, the trash can. Okay, so let's just say I wanted just part of this. On a new document, what I would do is I could take my lasso tool, I could feather this five again if I wanted to, and I'll just take her face. And what I could do is Command C to copy, make sure I'm on the right layer that I want to copy from, Command C, copy it, and then Command N to make a new document. <clears throat> Command N, sorry about that, to make a new document. And you can see that it has picked up the dimensions of what I was about to copy. I'm going to just click Create and Command V to paste, and it makes a new document the same size as what I just copied off the other one. It puts that on kind of the clipboard. So now I have a whole separate file. It's given me a background. I can throw the background away if I don't want that. I just want to have a transparent piece here. So now I have a whole separate file. You can see up here I could rename this and she would be in her own separate file uh, on a start or with a start of a brand new layer here. So that's another way to take a selection, um, copy it and move it to a different document. So just a couple of different ways to make your selections or take um, different layers and selections and move them around, copy them, paste them and get them other places. I hope this helps. Thank you.